In excess of 200 caregivers from both the roving and geriatric programs were present at the Grand Case Annual General Meeting, where a number of awards were given for the hard work and dedication to some caregivers in their respective fields. Program Manager of Grand Case, John Williams, gave a brief overview of the organization's fourth AGM and its overall goal in assisting vulnerable elderly throughout the island. Uh, this, as I said, is our fourth annual general meeting. We are, we are responsible for taking care of the elderly persons who, are, who have no one to take care of them. Those who live in abject poverty, those who have no friends or families that they can rely on. So the caregivers program allows for the geriatric caregivers to go to these homes, assist individuals, cook for them, they wash, clean um, when necessary. The caregivers program has four registered nurses attached to different districts, working closely along with the caregivers to ensure that the required medical assistance is given to every client. Nurse Janine Gat Welch spoke on some of the most prevalent diseases recognized while working with both the roving and geriatric caregivers. With the younger children, we find more their hand, foot, and mouth, which had an outbreak early on last year. But with the elderly, we find more the the diabetes and the hypertension has been the major causes of, you know, the disabilities and so on for them in the in the community. Florence Richardson, a supervisor attached to the Geriatric Caregivers Program, said while more training is required to ensure the efficiency of the program, it has received positive feedback. Well, it is very effective. Um, first to begin, there are persons out there who can't really take care of themselves, okay? So we go in and we do as much as we can to make them comfortable. Although we say it is for 60 plus, but um, there are persons on our program who is not yet 60. They met the criteria and we are doing for them and you know they are very appreciative of what we are doing. So we say it's a, it's a very good program and um, the training, you know, we could do some more training, but um, we are grateful for where we are at now and looking for greater things ahead.